conversation on Facebook and Twitter with Good Day Dakota. It's 643. Welcome back. Well, they've been referred to as dirty snowballs, but you may recognize them by the more commonly used title of Comet. There's a certain comet that's gained some recent notoriety. New this morning, meteorologist Amber Wheeler is here to tell us what makes this recent comet sighting so much more special than all the rest in this week's WeatherWise. Hello, Amber. Well, Josh, by now you've probably heard about the comet Neowise, and maybe you've seen the pictures or even seen it in person, but if you haven't and you still want to check it out, you're in luck. The best time to see this celestial ball of ice is right now. Today is its closest approach to Earth at a distance of 64 million miles. To see the comet Neowise, you don't have to get up early or stay up late. The best viewing is around an hour after sunset. Look to the northwest sky just under the Big Dipper. So if you don't have a small telescope or binoculars, you can still see the comet with your naked eye. It's, it'll just look a little fuzzy, like a fuzzy star with a tail. We're seeing this comet right now because it happens to be in the inner solar system. It's heading for the outer solar system, which means we won't see it for a while after this month. It's got a several thousand mile journey until it orbits back around and at, at three miles across it's considered a large comet. Now it can be seen through the end of July getting a little more faint each day as it moves away from Earth and the Sun. The comet Neowise is a newly discovered comet. It was only found in March of this year so its technical name is C2020 F3 but its given name is Neowise. That's actually an acronym for a telescope NASA uses to detect potential hazardous asteroids and comets. That telescope is named, bear with me here, Near Earth Object Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer. This is where we get Neowise. Josh, you know, this is a unique comet because uh, not only can you see it with your naked eye, but we're the only generation that will see it for several thousand years and it won't pass by Earth again for another 6,800 years. And with all the craziness, some would say 2020 has brought, it certainly has brought us something beautiful that we can all enjoy together. Yeah, absolutely. And I can't believe NASA didn't discover it until March. That's Amazing. Well, think about it. It's been on a several thousand mile journey. It got a little closer and our telescopes were able, really powerful telescopes were able to pick it up to see it coming. And tonight we're in the 70s as for the next few nights. So perfect sky stargazing uh, temperatures, I would say. Right, Amber? Mostly clear and I think mostly 60s. All right. Okay. That's even better. Sounds great. Thanks, Amber. When we return on Good Day Dakota, we'll take you all the way up to 7 o'clock. We've got everything you need to know as you head